So now let's talk about the principal unit normal vector and the binormal vector. So let C be three-dimensional smooth curve represented by R over an open interval I. Let T prime not equal the zero vector and the principal unit normal vector at T is defined to be T prime T over the magnitude of T prime T. And I'm not sure if you remember, but what is the formula for T? Get used to this because we're gonna see it a lot. It's actually T equals R prime T over the magnitude of R, R prime T. So that is a unit vector as well because I have the vector over its magnitude. Same thing with n. n is also a unit vector. That's why they call it a unit normal vector. Um, so let's talk about this binormal vector now. Okay, so the binormal vector at t is defined as the cross product of t and n. And the nice thing about that is right away I can see that the binormal is orthogonal to t and orthogonal to n because it's a cross product. Cross product creates a vector that's orthogonal to those two. Um, so that's why we can say right away that they're orthogonal. And there's another thing here. This normal vector here is also orthogonal to t and also orthogonal to b. So what's going on here is n T, oops, N, T, and B are all orthogonal to each other. Okay, so let's take a look below here. This says given RT equaling 2 sine T, 5 T, 2 cos T, it says find the unit normal vector NT. So we're just going to follow this formula here. Um, t prime T over the magnitude of T prime B, T. But since we've seen this previously, um, this was in the last video. I'm just going to go back there and use those computations. So let's go back here. Take a look at this. So first off, we see that we have this t prime t, and that's 1 over square root of 29 um, times negative 2 sine t, 0, um, negative 2 cos t. So that's the one. And here's the other one. t prime t actually equals 2 square root of 29. So we're just going to use this work that we had from the last video, and it also saves us a little bit of time. And if you have problems with those calculations, just go back to the previous video. But let's take a look at this now. So we're just going to write this information down in phrase. So there it is. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to use those two pieces of information for the formula NT. And that's going to be T prime T over the magnitude of T prime P. So this is going to be 1 over square root of 29. And that's going to be all over 2 over square root of 29. Now again, keep in mind when I'm dividing with a fraction there, I flip and multiply. So that's going to result in, and it would be times square root of 29 over 2. So we see that those cancel right away. And also all of these 2s, those would be on top. That would be on the bottom, they all cancel. And we end up with negative sine t zero, negative cos t. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave it there. Now the binormal vector is this cross product of t and n. Now we're not gonna have enough room on this page to do it, so we're just gonna move to the next page. So here it is, I just set them all up. We just calculated n here. Well, I should say, yeah, n here. So we wrote that down there, and it's t cross n, so t is first. We got t from the previous video. So now all we're going to do here is compute a cross product. So it's equals. Now keep in mind, for the first entry, I should say the i entry, we're going to cover up the first column. And we're going to get the product of those things together, the 5 over square root of 29 times negative cos t, and that's going to result in negative, and we got a minus uh, this here, which is going to give me zero, because zero times any number is just zero. So that works there. Now we're going to move to the second column now. Now keep in mind here, once we do that, we're going to have to put the negative in here because that's just the way it's defined. And we're going to take the product of those two things together. 
So that's going to be negative 2 over 29, and that's going to be cosine squared t. And then it's going to be, well, negative times a negative is positive. So I'm going to multiply those two now. And then I'm minusing it, so I'm going to get this negative back. And that's going to be 2 over square root of 29. And that's going to be sine squared t. Is that minus? Yeah, it's going to be a minus. Okay, now that's the second one. Now for the third one here. So that means I would take this all. Oh, shoot, this last one's covered here. Sorry about that. And here, that is going to be zero. So it's going to be a minus. So minus a negative is going to be plus. So this is going to be positive 5 square root of 29 sine t. So that's the vector there. Now we can clean it up some because if I look at this piece right here, I can factor a 2 negative actually square root of 29 um, and I would have cosine squared t plus sine squared t. And I know this here equals 1. So I'm actually going to end up with, for the middle part here, I didn't deal with the negative yet. Um, I can now because I pulled a negative out. So a negative times a negative is positive times 1. So I'm going to end up with, for my middle term, it's going to be positive 2 over square root of 29. Now that's the middle term. Now for the first term, I'm just going to bring those down in the last term as well. There's nothing to simplify or compute there. So we're just going to rewrite it. So there is the binormal vector. And there's our cross products. Let's find as much as we can. So there's the answer.